everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Y. The last time we saved Obama Snow in the Frost Cavern. And in the process, we just kind of kicked some butt from the Team Flare. This time, however, we're moving on towards Route 17, aptly named Mamoswine Road. Mamoswine, who is no longer worried about Obama Snow right now, can carry us through this thick snow. Apparently, it's really happy doing so, so I guess it's all good. It's pretty much the same as Rhyhorn, just it's snow right now. So we'll just move on through, see what we can find. Uh, I guess we'll look over there. Are there any secret items over here? Maybe here? This goes way back. Hmm, Tower Ball, we'll take one of those. Not that I'm gonna use them. I still like getting them though. Icicle Blade, stronger ice type moves for ice type Pokemon. We don't have an ice type, however. Let's see, was there anything over to the right here? Nothing hidden? Nope. Was this a way up? I think it was, so we need to break that as well. With Mamoswine strong tusks. There we go. Now, what's hidden over here? Oh, it's a sky battle. No, we don't have any sky Pokemon. I feel like we're skipping a lot of sky trainers like that. I, I feel like we've at least skipped five of them. Whether knowingly or not. Uh, wait. Where do we go? Do we go down here? Was this just an alternate path? I guess so. Yeah. Alright. Guess we'll go to this alternate path. After the wild Pokemon. It's a Snover. We've got Telecat out in front. It's been a while since we've seen Telecat do something. So how about a signal beam? Mm-mm-mm. That's tasty. There we go. Ferdinand grew a level 48. And wants to learn Body Slam. That might not be a bad move, but I kind of like the ones I have right now. Body Slam is really solid, though. 85 base power and a chance to paralyze. Sign me up. Okay, let's see. Bust through. There we go. Once more. Yeah. Uh, man, I just pressed a button as I saw this thing. Do we need to smack it? We probably do, yeah. Mm. Okay. Smack it good. There we go. Now, let's see what hidden treasures await. Uh, left. Anything? Ooh, a Pokeball. Calcium. Alright, not bad, not bad. That'll potentially give us a lot of money. What's over here? Anything in it? Nope. So, just the one calcium. Alright, Mama Swine, let's keep on going. I feel like the rewards haven't been as good. I think, like, TMs are fun to find. Everything else is just a nice little bonus. But so far, I don't think it's been actually very worth the uh, detour, but I do still want to check. Alright. No, come on. Mavis Wine, we need to we need to have your face against those rocks. Hello, another Snover. Unless he's going to do some kind of butt slam to break those rocks. Which I'm all for. If he can do that, then all the more power to him. Man, I am fighting back yawns for some reason. I have no idea why. Alright, Mama Swine. There we go. Good. One more. Was this the end? Looks like this is the end, yeah. All right, Mama Swine. Thanks for your help. Oh, a hollow clip. Oh, it's Serena. Friendly. This time, I challenge you to a battle in front of Anastar City Gym. Prepare yourself. No one says hello anymore. You just say my name. I'm more than just a trainer, you know. <sighs> oh, pardon me. Couldn't work. Hold back beyond this time. Hey, you're rare candy. Very useful. All right. Well, I guess there was the short road. What does this sign have to say? Trainer tips. Some Pokemon may evolve a god if they get a level while it's raining. Yep, that's, uh... Gumi and Go Slugu. You know what I find interesting? No matter how much scientific progress we make, we may never fully understand everything that happened in the past. I mean, yeah. It, that's, that's fair. What do you have to say? I sure wish there were some floor around Anister Sundial. Pokemon that keep their faces to the sun, and a sundial that keeps the time by the sun's travel. Sunlight and shadow, a play is sweet to see. 
All right, yeah, that's that is kind of cool to see. Just like Anasar City. You there. Oh, it's the person I don't care about. I came in place of Dexio to tell you something. There is a person here in Anasar City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. What a good use. Thank. Uh, at, at least you gave me some gifts, but you didn't even say hello. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, girls whose name I forgot. The tip of a sundial shadow. If we were in a mystery novel, there would probably be something buried there. Maybe so, yeah. The starry city marking the hours. Well, I don't think we need to heal up right now. Because we were we got back pretty unscathed. I can read Pokemon memories. People call me the memory girl. Do you want to know the memory? Sure. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Excuse me, how about we read Pompox memory? Mm-hmm. Bombok went to a factory friendly and saw lots of machines that looked very complicated. The Pokemon remembers that it felt good. That's kind of cute. I'm, I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but, you know. I have a silver Pokemon when I grow up, because when I have kids, I want to trade Pokemon with them. Aw, that's kind of cute. What's, what also cute is, oh yeah, styling. Let's get a new style. Oh yeah, ready for the cold weather out here. Let's confirm. Yeah, we look pretty good. Four items. Yeah, we got the money for that. Let's do it. All right. Goodbye, indeed. Let's see what else this town has to offer, shall we? Hello. Hidden powers type changes depending on the Pokemon that learns it. However, the power of the move is the same regardless of which Pokemon it uses. Let me guess. So are you going to give me hidden power? Yeah, there you go. Are you also going to tell me what my hidden powers are? Yes. Well, we, we do have a special attacker in the group in, in the form of Brella and Telecat, so let's see what they have. Uh, his move type will be fighting. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and what does Brella have? Mm-hmm. Steel. Ooh, that'll make it do good against fairy types. You know what? I think I will teach uh, Hidden Power to Brella. There we go. 60 base power. Special. Yes, a move will be deleted. Um, I think I'll get rid of Razor Wind. It is only a, it is a two-stage attack, and I think we'll have better use with um, a Steel-type hidden power when we go up against fairies. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, kid, what do you have to sell me? Even if I lose something, Luxury finds it for me. Pokemon are mysterious and amazing. They sure are, kid. Oh, this is the route away. I don't think I want to go there yet. There's still more to see in Anastar City. Not to mention there's a gym and a rival battle here. Hello, old man. Why, hello there. You must be that apprentice of Professor Sigamore I've heard so much about. It's my guess that you've come to ask about the legendary Pokemon of the Kalos region, Eveltal. Well, allow me to tell you what I know. It happened around 800 years ago. The Pokemon known as Eveltal spread its ominous wings, engulfing the lands of Kalos in darkness. At that moment, people and Pokemon throughout the land began to fall one by one. Eveltal let out a piercing cry and took to the sky, vanishing to an unknown location. Stories say that when it, when, when it nears the end of its thousand-year lifespan, Eveltal absorbs the life force of those living around it in order to charge its own energy. Another tale talks of the appearance of just such a terrifying Pokemon. Back 3,000 years ago, the Kalos region was engulfed in a terrible war. According to the stories, a Pokemon appeared and stole the life force of countless living beings. Some, poke some people suspect the Pokemon that appeared was Eveltal, but there's no way to know. Maybe they're just using a legendary Pokemon as a metaphor for war and pestilence. In the tales, after Eveltal finished storing the energy it absorbed, it transformed into a kind of cocoon, remaining, hid remaining in hiding deep in the mountains, according to an old tales, as I say, tales and stories. All right, that was a pretty good story. What happened to the strange bunch of folks in red outfits? One of us is still seeking legendary Pokemon. A few years back, some Pokemon came around here asking the same questions. Yeah, that must have been Team Flare then, huh? I wonder if they found him. Also, something you might not have noticed, um, all these houses have like, um, whatchamacallit that? 
uh, solar panels on their roofs, or pretty much as roofs. With my wife gone, line life has become very lonely. Would you be so kind as to let me one of your Pokemon? You know, to keep me company. I hate to be picky, but I'd love to take care of a Pokemon that's over five or under. Sure. Um, oh, I can't really select from here. Okay. I'm going to get this guy a Pokemon. All right. I'll be right back. All right. It turns out I don't have a Pokemon of all five and under. I kind of was hoping that I could give him a Charmander that I took from Professor Sycamore, but that one's level 10. So guess that's not happening. I have no interest in that cafe. Where is that gym? Hello. You know about the mysterious object called the Anastar Sundial, right? Apparently, even the most cutting-edge scientific techniques can break it. Alright. Some people called out-of-place artifacts like this oop art. This might have been made with the mysterious power of Pokemon. Alright, whoa, it, it is kind of... Kind of freaking huge. How did that get there? It feels... I can't really remember if this thing has ever been properly addressed in some shape, way, or form for it being such a grand thing. Maybe when Pokemon Legends ZA comes out, we might be able to see something done with this. Although the game did mention that it's only taking place in, uh, in Lumio City itself. So we'll have to see about that. Now, where is that gym? I want to fight Serena. I want to fight the gym. Uh, let's see. I suppose it's not here. Hold on a second. All right, so that's the exit. Okay, that's where the thingamajig is. Is there anything to the left here? No, we came from there. <laughs> I'm lost in this city. Oh, there you go. All right. Um, we'll keep Telcat in front. Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were going to be rivals back in that cafe in Lumio City, after all. Alright, bring it on. Let's see what you got. Four Pokemon. Starting off with Meowstic. Alright. Telecat is up to you. We come prepared, however. We have a very sneaky Signal Beam. We also have Shadow Ball, but, you know, I want to use Signal Beam. That's going to be a 2 at KO. You're using Psychic? You should have learned Shadow Ball by now, or even Signal Beam. Oh, well. She is our rival, and she's not going to be as good as we are. Alright, Seligad crew to level 48. Good job. Wants to learn Sucker Punch. Uh, no thank you. I, I'm kind of happy with all the moves that I have, quite honestly. So yeah, we will keep old moves. Yes, we are sure. Alright, what, what's up next? Absol. Well, you know what? I think I will switch. Yeah. How about we switch over to Ferdinand? Ferdinand does have Rock Smash. It'll do good against that Absol. Ooh, Ferdy Ferdy. All right, Absol. You're probably going to be faster, but that's okay. Rock Smash. Oh, wow. We are actually faster. We'll take that. Once more with feeling. There we go. Yeah. Got some experience. Umbrella grew to level 47. Delphox is about to come out. Uh, we've got Palm Bark for that. Come on out, buddy. There he is. Oh, I love her. All right, let's see if we can do good. Uh, we have a Night Slash. It's part Psychic type, so let's do it. Flamethrower. Oh, that's a poor decision. Ooh, that was a good decision. Once more, Palmpock. Oh, we're burned. Oh, that kind of slices our attack in half. That's not good at all. All right, final one, unless he heals. But they don't. Okay. All right, that was a little bit of an uphill battle after we got burned, but Palmpock pulled through. All right, what's your last Pokemon? Jolteon. Well, I just happen to have Dusty right here. Get ready to get wrecked. Alright, this thing is probably going to use a quick attack or something. To try and get a little damage off. But we shall dig. Oh, double kick, wow. Not that it did all that much, to be very honest. Alright. 
Oh, you're done for. <laughs> All right, then. She looks depressed every single time. Am I just not good enough to bring out the best in my Pokemon? No. <laughs> my Pokemon are so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. Anyway, I'll hear your Pokemon here. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it. I'm looking for time. You know what? I think we can spare uh, a couple minutes to wipe the face with the Anasar City Gym. What kind of gym is this anyway? Tell me. What do you know, Daddy O? Here you are, future champ. Bah! <laughs> this place is amazing, side of a ball. Try getting your head around that one, right? Even if you find your way around, you'll have to watch out for all those psychic types. They've got some crazy powers, am I right? But don't give up and you'll find your way. Huh, oh, psychic types. You know, with everything being so, you know, sundial, solar energy, you kind of would have guessed that this was something like uh, an electric type city. But nope, it's, um, it's psychic type. Don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. I mean, sure, but this is absolutely gorgeous. One of the few moments in this game where I'm actually just like, wow. And you just kind of need to take a moment to look around to all the cool stuff that's going on. Speaking of cool stuff that's going on, Executor X Signal Beam, not a good match for him. Goodbye, Executor. Yeah, that was about the worst Pokemon he could have sent out against a Signal Beam. Well, we'll take it, however. Ooh, Razor Shell. Yes, please. Ugh. I've been waiting for this one. 75 power, 95% accuracy. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, Clamp, but you're being replaced by something a little bit more powerful. All right. Let's keep on moving. Yes, when you remain calm and undistracted, your Pokemon can realize their full potential. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good suggestion there. See how beautiful this place is. Of course, it's like 3DS era, but still, I, I like it plenty. Uh, I want to go here and there. Do we go down or up? I don't know. I don't know the layout of this place. Well, we don't go there. So I guess we're going up. Whee! Alright, so far so good. We'll be at the gym leader in no time. Alright, I guess we're going up. Uh-huh. Oh, I like the Pokeball uh, constellation over there. I'm gonna go here. Oh, I didn't go the right way. I'll go the center path then. All right. I guess we're going the right way. Uh, left? Oh, it's a comet. No, we're not going left. We're going right. Well, they did say this was a maze, so I shouldn't be surprised that I'm kind of stumbling around here. All right, going down. Going up. Oh no, we went down again. We're in the pink level now. Alright, goodbye. D didn't he look kind of weird under those stairs? He kind of looks like he lost his outline. And then you go back here and he's got his outline again. Yeah, that is, uh, that is kind of cool. Alright. Uh, up. To the left. Uh, we'll go around you, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a shorter episode, haha. <laughs> Besides, it gives me a little bit more of a challenge. Kind of like in the, the one Snorlax video I did, where it's just Snorlax. I kind of stopped fighting some trainers in order to get a bit more of a challenge. This is kind of the same thing. Hello there, cool-looking trainer. A ritual to recite your fate and future. The battle begins. Uh, okay. Yeah, sh I mean... All right, versus Olympia. Let's get to it. She didn't really, she didn't really waste any time there, huh? Sigilyph. She's only got three Pokemon. I'm sure there'll be plenty of a challenge, though. Let's start off with Shadow Ball. All right, a light screen. Yeah, I could expect that. All right, we'll just keep using Shadow Ball, and we'll be done with Sigilyph. Goodbye, Sigilyph. All right, what's what's next? Meowstic. Well, hmm. <laughs> We know how to handle Meowstic, don't we, Telecat? Um, which one is actually stronger? Is it Signal Beam or Shadow Ball? I don't know. Let, let's just switch it up a little bit. Signal Beam. Sure, use your fake out. Take 
take the free damage. Ooh. Well, then again, they do have a light uh, screen up. Just keep attacking for now, and we'll switch over to another team member to finish the job. Alright, you did good, Telecat. Get a nice big rest. Alright, their thingamajig wore off. So we can come in with Pompok. And Pompok, you're going to be using... Mm, I say Shadow Claw, yeah. Ooh, that Psyche did quite a lot of damage. It was a critical hit, too. Screw them. Good job, Pompok. Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Hey, level up. Slowking. Oh, man. That's bound to be a little dangerous. Alright, Slowking. Let's see you deal with Shadow Claw. You did pretty well, gotta say, but I think you're done. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that hard of a battle. It was only three Pokemon, too. It was like... Ah, oh, well, I don't care. Leader Olympia was defeated. Create your own path. Let nothing get in your way. Your fate, your future. Now, the Psychic Badge. A testament to your skill. Proof of your power. For as much as I like her design, and the look of her badge, and the look of her gym, she is such a flat character. She doesn't really do anything. She has no personality. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is my future. Yeah, I'd like to walk through the entrance. Yeah, see, she's got like a really cool town with a cool construct, with a cool look and a cool badge and a cool gym, but she herself is just... <laughs> fart noise. I'm sure getting the psychic badge wasn't too much trouble for you. No, it was a mysterious person. Oh, it's Serena. I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is all said and done. Seems like the neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger, after all. What could this be? Pokemon trainers. I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon. Eliminate everyone who isn't in our group and return the world to a beautiful, natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly and conflicts will raise the land end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry, those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is adieu to you all. What was Lysander saying? Wiping the slate clean? Eliminating everyone but Team Flare? Friendly, let's look for Team Flare's headquarters. Where could Lysander be? Perhaps he's where we first met him, in Lumio City. Sounds like things are kind of, you know, getting into overdrive with Team Flare. Maybe they're not such goons as we thought. Next time on Pokemon Y, we're going to find Lysander and put a stop to this plan, because I'm not okay with it. Alright, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Y. But until then, bye-bye!